Hey everyone, welcome to Airsoft Command, and today I'm going to show you how to paint your rifle like Lone Survivor. To start off, you want to make sure that you tape up your gun with any, uh, any area that you do not want to get paint on, and you want to make sure that you use blue painter's tape. The paint that I used is the Rust-Oleum Camouflage line. I, I think it's really good because it's a very matte color and it does not reflect. Uh, I also used a color uh, called Satin Nutmeg and that's kind of my coyote brown color. Uh, it was very good. Satin isn't quite as good as matte, but it is. it works very well. First I painted the whole gun with a very light coat of khaki. You want to make sure that the spray paint can is about 6 to 12 inches away from the rifle and you want to just dust it. Light dust over the whole entire rifle and then you want to continue by covering the whole thing in khaki. You want to make sure you do khaki first because it is a light color. And then after I did the khaki, I just did a tad bit of my dark brown color so that I could mesh that with the more uh, medium color of the coyote brown. And I put the coyote brown throughout the whole gun so that it would mesh nicely with the khaki which was over the whole gun and the dark brown which was only in a few portions of my rifle. To make the gun give a worn look like it is in Lone Survivor, I got a sandpaper sponge and a thing of steel wool. Uh, my sandpaper sponge didn't have a whole lot of sand left in it, and so it wasn't as effective. Uh, the steel wool worked really well for me. I basically rubbed it over all of the edges of the rifle wherever there was any protruding material off of the gun. I made sure that I scraped up the pistol grip really well and the vertical grip a little bit on the bipod and around uh, any area that you would be touching a lot made sure that I scuffed up the edges of the scope and along the rails and the rail covers especially uh, just making sure that it gives a really worn look some areas more than others uh, the pistol grip especially was to come out mostly black towards the top and I made sure that uh, all of the edges were evenly scraped up so that it gave it a really scratched and worn look like it is in the film Lone Survivor. And to make sure that the gun gets a really unique look, uh, I cut out a stencil so that I could put a call sign onto the rifle. I just got a piece of paper, traced out some uh, lines, and cut it out with a very small pair of scissors and just painted black over top of the stock. And by the way, the stock has a wrap around it so it's not um, just plastic. Uh, it does hold paint very well uh, and so that gives the rifle a very uh, personal look to it. Alright to summarize what I did today I made sure that I painted this SR25 uh, like it is seen in the movie Lone Survivor. It was a very easy uh, paint job. The actual painting took only about maybe 15 minutes. The hardest part was definitely the giving it the worn look with the mostly with the steel wool uh, it was a very easy paint job and it was very fun to do. Uh, it's very effective, it looks visually appealing and I definitely recommend this.